Dear all, welcome to Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this experiment, we will learn the phase and line quantities in three phase star and delta connected circuits. The ultimate goal of the experiment is to identify the relation between line quantities and phase quantities in star and delta connection respectively. Ultimately, you are going to learn how do you perform or how do you connect three phase connection or how to do the three phase connection. Okay. So that's the ultimate goal of the experiment and you will be learning what is the difference between star and delta connection. The following apparatus are required. All meters are moving iron only because it's an AC supply. So voltmeter we need two quantities in the range of 0 to 300 and 600 volt. Then ammeter also 0 to 2 ampere, two quantities are needed. And here we are going to use the lamp load and also you need to ensure the wires with better continuity that is also uh, required for the experiment first of all we will see the circuit connections of or circuit diagrams of star connection in case of star connection the similar end of the coils are connected to a neutral point you can see a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 are the coils so similar end of the coils are connected to neutral point here we are using the bulb 230 volt 100 watts bulbs are used here and uh, here you can able to understand that the line current and phase current will be equal. So this ammeter gives both line current and phase current. But the particular voltmeter 0 to 600 volt that gives the line voltage. So it will be AC only better mark like this. And where uh, the voltage between one line and uh, neutral point that is called V phase. So you are supposed to measure the line voltage and the phase voltage separately and you can able to identify the relation and we have the auto transformer so with the help of auto transformer you can able to apply the certain line voltage and you can able to measure the phase voltage and the line current and phase current this ammeter gives both line current and phase current okay so this is regarding the star connection it is mainly used for high voltage low current application the procedure is very simple connections are made as per the circuit diagram Supply switch is closed here. Okay. Afterwards, by cha by changing auto transformer, you have to apply 400 volt over here. Line voltage is 400. You are supposed to apply. At that time, what is the value of phase voltage and the line current? You will be measuring. Okay. Afterwards, auto transformer bring back to initial position. Supply switch is uh, opened. Then you can able to note out what is the value of line voltage. It must be 400 volt. What about the phase voltage? Then line current, phase current. And finally, you have to multiply root 3 into V phase. Then you can able to understand the line voltage must be equal to root 3 into V phase. That is about a star connection. If I talk about delta connection, see, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 are the three coils. The ending of the first coil is connected to beginning of another coil. And the ending of the second coil is connected to beginning of, uh, what I can say, the third coil. Here, there is no neutral point. Okay, this type of arrangement is known as delta connection. In case of delta connection, we can say that uh, this voltmeter, whatever the voltmeter I have written there, so that gives both uh, line voltage and phase voltage. In case of delta connection, line voltage and phase voltage will be equal. But here you can see the line current. This must be the line current. And where whatever the current which you can able to see, see, this is your phase current. Here you will be identifying the relation between line current and phase current. Okay. And you can see this is a typical representation of delta connection where it is used for high current and low voltage application. Okay, so you will be learning how to connect delta, delta system, how to perform the delta connection. Okay, the procedures are as follows. Circuit connections are made as per the circuit diagram and uh, supply switch is closed here, TPST. TPST means a triple pole single throw switch. Here it is representing TPST. Okay. By varying the three phase auto transformer, you need to apply a low voltage, say 230, maybe 200, that's also okay. So here you are applying low voltage. Okay. When you apply low voltage, you can see the brightness of the lamp. In case of star connection, the lamp will glow. If you apply very less voltage, means lamp will glow very less. Okay. But in case of delta connection, you can have a change. If you are, Even though you apply very low voltage, the lamp glows very quickly. Okay. And the brightness of the lamp will be increasing, even though if you apply less voltage. That point you can able to identify in this experiment. At that time, I will explain. Whenever demonstration comes, I am going to point out. Here you will be learning out the relation between the line current and phase current. So once the readings are taken back, you can uh, bring back the auto transform into zero position. Afterwards, supply switch can be opened. Okay. 
then we can note down the readings vl line voltage v phase mean phase voltage both will be same only here we will be identifying the line current and phase current find the relation between line current and phase current okay so this is a brief idea about the experiment so ultimately you are understanding the difference between star and delta connection now let us see how to perform the experiment so i have prepared a video in that video you will understand how to do the star and delta connection so look at this we have the auto transformer and we are having the meters we can see the uh, voltmeter then a meter another voltmeter okay this voltmeter gives uh, one, number one let me mark this gives vl and uh, this provides v phase and this will give il and i phase because single ammeter is sufficient okay and this is your lamp likewise three lamps will be there let us see now this is your tpst switch you can able to see the tpst switch tpst is nothing but triple pole single throw tpst okay tpst this is your auto transformer and these are the terminal this will be the input of auto transformer and this must be the output of the auto transformer from the output connection starts output of the auto transformer connection is going to start yeah these are the inputs you can able to see r y b okay for the easiness we are representing like this now from the output uh, from the this is your tpst switch these are the la, uh, a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 coils three coils it is representing three coils okay three lamps are connected over the you have to note on the points now this give, this voltmeter gives measures line voltage where this ammeter measures both uh, phase current and line current the third voltmeter gives phase voltage clear okay you have to perform the connection accordingly now what we are going to do is we will be turning on the tpst switch later on apply 400 volt by using auto transformer so whenever you are varying auto transformer you should have a look on this voltmeter here we are increasing the voltage so apply 400 you have to see the upper scale okay at the same time you need to measure the line current and phase current in the sun meter and you can measure the phase voltage phase voltage will be available here this is your phase voltage note down accordingly note down in the table all meters are moving iron meters okay so hope you have noted down all the readings are to be noted down in the table and you can see the brightness okay look observe the brightness of the lamp at least 400 volt is required to uh, glow otherwise it won't glow okay now bring back the auto transformer to initial position uh, turn off the tpst switch so now this is your delta connected network now let us do the connection yeah first of all you have to wake up the connection so turn on the tpst switch so with the help of auto transformer you have to apply less voltage say 200 to 230 Two, 230 is okay so let's apply to 230 volt see so you are applying 230 volt this voltmeter gives the line voltage and phase voltage we'll be slowly applying 230 volt you can have an observation so you have to see the lower scale because i have connected to uh, 300 volt therefore you are supposed to see the lower scale here you need to measure the line current okay line current has to be measured at the same time you are supposed to measure the phase current phase current also need to be measured okay you can see the brightness of the lamp though you are applying less voltage bulb is getting brighter once you have taken the reading auto transformer bring back to initial position so readings are to be tabulated okay so we have done the demonstration Finally, you will be learning the relation between uh, star and delta connection. So, in case of star connection, line current and phase current will be equal. Then, line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. That can be verified. In case of delta connection, line current is equal to root 3 into phase current. But, the line voltage and phase voltage will be equal. So, this is my reference. If you are having any queries, you can put up in the comment box. So, thank you for watching this video. And, uh, please share and subscribe this video. I have one more channel, so please share with your friends, those who have to